One of the first things that I was taught was that if you can't sing it, you can't play it. And in order to actually sing it like that, you have to have an emotional attachment to the music. The more music that you actually listen to, the more um, of an individual style that you will actually have because of all of the musical kind of um, experiences that you have from each different piece of music. Then you actually have, add that to your arsenal as a drummer because they will all kind of assist you within the kind of end goal of creating whatever groove that it is that you are wanting to create within the realms of the ensemble that you are performing in. If you are performing in an ensemble, that is. My name is Gary Powell, I'm a drummer in a band called The Libertines. I used to play in a band called Dirty Pretty Things and I previously performed with the New York Dolls and many other artists. No, it, it, I think it, it kind of just happened. It kind of happened. I mean, uh, I gave it up for a period of time because I, I didn't think that I was actually good enough to pursue a career in music. And then I got the opportunity to start doing a bit of work with Eddie Grant on the remix of Electric Avenue back in, what, what 99, 2000. And then after the back of that, I met Pete and Carr from the Liberties. So then the next thing I knew, we were in the studio playing together. And then we booked more studio time. And then apparently there was record companies wanting to come and see us. And the next thing I knew, it just kind of took off. It was quite, it was quite natural, quite gradual. There is so much going on in drumming that people actually ignore. That you know that you know drummers should be applauded a lot more for their efforts as to what you know what they bring. I like I like the relationship between the bottom head, the top head and the shell and what it can actually bring what it can actually bring. Because I think each tom has a relationship with, with 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 each other and they should be allowed to sing. I want the drums to tell their own story. You know, it is as much about the drums being able to sing and do their thing as it is about me playing on them. You know, they've got to be able to perform as well, if not better than me. They've got to be able to do the job. And and Yamaha have always delivered a drum that can actually do that, um, and especially for me, the oak. It's just such a dexterous kit. You can do whatever you want with it. You can record with it. You can take it on. You can play live inside. You can play live outside. It's just such a. It, the shell is so warm. to be durable and strong. And that's what Yamaha is, durable and strong.